So guys, I got called out in the city to do a mobile job. Uh, this car, it's a 2000 Chrysler Sebring. 2007 Chrysler Sebring, 2.4 liter. And they said it's stuck in limp mode. And it sets a code uh, P0765, I think. It says for the underdrive solenoid circuit. And they put a whole new solenoid block in. And this is how the wires look. They were like all pulled out when I got here. So it made it easier to probe. So... Let me show you what happens. So if we go in this one right here, I'm jumping power to the yellow and orange wire right there, which is the power feed for the solenoid block. So if I go to, let's see, we went to 2-4 two, four, two, four solenoid. I toggle it. Look at this. Got a nice pattern right there. It's getting pulled down the ground. Then you see like current limiting. And you can see that. So it's it's working fine. So now if we back out, and we go to, let's see, let's go to uh, underdrive solenoid. So we'll switch this over to our underdrive solenoid. Right here, watch this. Turn this on. Look at what we get here. It's not getting pulled down. That's the pattern we get right there. So it's not pulling it down. And I, I manually tested this circuit. So, let's see, how can I show you guys this? Okay, I know how. So we'll take this ground one, we'll put this under on here, and we'll manually pull it to ground. I did this with a test light the other night. So if we take this the test light and we touch it. Oh, hold on, let me put this back in. So we got that connected. Hold on a second, guys. So here we go. So now if I touch just the ground, see, we can pull it down and get the same waveform. So I'll, I'll be right back, guys. So guys, like I was saying, like there's the, there's the thing. Now when I ground it, uh, let's see, where's my leak go? There it is. So when I ground this, you'll see, it's hard to get a really good connection when I ground it. But yeah, all I'm doing is just touching it right here and you can see it fire. And it pulls 7 amps just like it's supposed to. So I'm going to set this up. We'll see if we can pull the pin code, program the PCM, and we'll go from there. So guys, I'm going to show you guys how to program this. I copied the files all, all over to the folder that they're supposed to be in. Let's see, do I have it? Yeah, I copied them into this folder. So we're going to start flashing this. I'm going to turn the key on. I put the new PCM in already. So we're going to start flashing this new one. Let's see, do we have to select the pass through or can I just press start? Okay, so, oh, and I modified the file so that it works. So I'm going to let this read and flash. I have it connected. We're connected to my truck back there. And let's see. Yes, we want to update this. And should flash. This is a used PCM that we're doing. So let's see if it flashes. Okay. So we're going to flash them all. My friend Brian Mann helped me out with this. Because uh, I never replaced the PCM, so he walked me through how to do it so I could show you guys. So you guys should check out his videos.
Okay, guys. So that finished. Now, he told me to click on skim reset. Ignition's on. He said this will fail. Say it's not supported. And then he said go to VIN reset. Sure. That's not our VIN. So we want. Hang on, guys. Let me get the VIN number from the car and then we'll do this. Okay guys, so I got the VIN in there, so let's write this VIN, see if it writes. I don't know how long this is supposed to take. This is taking a while. Well, I'm going to stop it here and I'm going to just fast forward so you guys don't have to wait. So guys, it's it's still sitting here even though I unplugged it. But uh, I went under, I think it was special functions on my Diagon. Went to check PCM right here. It had the wrong VIN. I pressed OK to modify it and I typed it in and it didn't even require a pin code. Pretty awesome. And then I cleared the fault codes. Came in here. No more fault codes. We can turn this on again. Let's go in here. R read fault codes. DTC information, nothing. So I'm gonna connect my snap one back up and we'll check to make sure that solenoid's working. But I think we're good to go. So guys, we're connected back on here and I have it triggering and this was the bad solenoid and now the solenoid's being commanded on. It's pulse width modulated, so it's fixed now. So guys, I just wanted to add into this video that I did a quick relearn in the car and the car drives perfectly fine and the customer is really happy. So I hope you guys liked the video and I'm going to link in the description to Brian Mann's video on how to use used PCM, Chrysler PCMs. So check out his stuff. See you later.